So luminosity coming at you from my rooftop in the Ecuadorian Amazon. Uh, we're going to talk about uh, up and coming cryptocurrency that I think has a tremendous community around it. It's for a really good cause. Uh, it's something very near and dear to my heart. Um, cannabis uh, and, and its capacity to treat pain uh, in place of opiate painkillers. I just lost a very close friend this morning to uh, heroin, I just found out. So, you know, this is an epidemic that, you know, at least in part can be curtailed with uh, medical cannabis. And I think that's a big part of the reason that Reese has created this coin and his motivation for um, making the 420 coin. So you want to tell me a little bit about how you got into cryptocurrency and a little bit about your project? Yeah, sure. So um, like you said, I'll just introduce myself again. My name is Reese Little, uh, CEO of 420 Coin LLC. Um, you know, I got into cryptocurrencies back in 2017 um, when a friend of mine just kind of introduced me to it. He said, you know, hey, this is a, it's an up and coming thing. I think you can kind of check it out. And uh, ever since then, I've been working closely with him to, you know, build up my knowledge on cryptocurrency, kind of understand why there's a use case for it, uh, why there's a lot of potential for growth. And um, quite recently is when I really decided that I wanted to create my own cryptocurrency. I wanted to get involved myself. So the inspiration for the project was uh, actually not something very positive. Um, my uh, friend or one of my friends from high school who I knew, I've known for at least five years now, uh, was injured in a tragic skiing accident. And um, that accident has left him paralyzed from the neck down. Um, you know, it's obviously been really tough on him. And I've been able to follow up with him through the phone, just kind of asking how he's doing, what's been going on in the hospital. And what he's told me um, is that they have him on a fentanyl packet 24 hours of the day, and they're slowly administering um, him. I'm not sure the exact dosage, but they're using that to help him with some of his pain. Uh, he also told me that at nighttime to help with falling asleep, they give him Xanax, um, you know, and obviously, uh, Xanax was something that he struggled with before he ended up getting in this injury. So, you know, him being forced to be putting on that drug is just uh, just not good. And so basically what he's told me is, you know, Risa, uh, I've, I've, uh, I've asked for medicinal cannabis. I've, you know, I've requested it, you know, because uh, I, I smoked before I got in this injury. And, you know, it, it helped me a lot with my anxiety. And now at this point in my life, I'm more anxious than I've ever been, obviously. And He's, he's requested medicinal cannabis from three different doctors, and all three of them have rejected his request. And the typical response, there's two responses that he's been given. One is, um, Anthony, because uh, marijuana is illegal at a federal level, I'm not comfortable administering you this drug. And the other response is, you know, Anthony, since there's not enough research done on medicinal marijuana, I'm just not comfortable giving you this drug, right? So- um, where it's illegal or is he is are these doctors just afraid of the federal consequences do you know yeah so it's both right i i believe that i think there is some way to get around it but most the majority of the reason is and i think there is um it is illegal to administer it at least in certain states but i'm in new jersey where um, marijuana actually is allowed recreationally now um, but still, there is some kind of legal issue behind giving it. And I think you have to have like certain qualifications to be able to administer it. But then it also comes down to just the doctor's preference, right? Even if they are able to legally, do they feel comfortable? Do they feel like there's been enough research? And like I said, that's been a problem, you know, um, to date. So, you know, that's kind of where I got the inspiration for the project. You know, like I said, I've been involved in cryptocurrencies for a few years now, four years in total. And I wanted to create a way where we could use blockchain technology to help raise money um, for cannabis research so that people like Anthony and millions of people across not only the country, but across the world can get the help that they need. Um, so what, what we've been able to do is we've actually created this coin in a way where we offer investors the opportunity to uh, maximize returns on their investment but also be able to guarantee that they're giving back to a good cause. And the, you know, that's unique to blockchain technology. It's, I'm sure you know, you, at least we can't think of another opportunity in the world in any stock or anything like that where you can invest in something, but also be giving back to a good cause, right? Usually when you're investing something, 
you're just investing in it to be able to eventually sell it later for a higher price or just you know to collect dividends over time but we built we used um the tokenomics in a way where we have liquidity goals and when those liquidity goals are met we automatically liquidate 2.5 percent of that goal and donate it directly to a cannabis research foundation so you know we, you can read up further about this in our tokenomics but uh, we've hit our first goal, which is fifty thousand dollars in liquidity. So we are taking and delivering actually this Sunday a thousand two hundred fifty dollars to a cannabis research foundation. The next goal is a hundred thousand, uh, then it's two hundred thousand, then four hundred thousand, then eight hundred thousand, and once we get to eight hundred thousand, uh, phase three will begin, which will mean that every time our liquidity goes up by four hundred twenty thousand, which goes with our name we will donate 2.5% of that, which is actually $30,500 donated to cannabis research at a time. So, you know, um, you could read out more about this in our, in our white paper, you can find it on our website, but that's how we've designed it in order for us to be able to give back. And we just see it as a way for, you know, to be able to encourage people to buy the coin, right? Because, you know, at the end of the day, we have a, uh, we have a GoFundMe set up for people like Anthony and one directly for Anthony, and while that does raise, you know, a sizable amount of money, I think we got over sixty thousand dollars for him. You know, he'll need millions of dollars in order to be able to treat, you know, um, the situation that he's in right now. And so we see this up as an opportunity to get more money, um, you know, for him and for people like him. So uh, that's a little bit of backstory about me and about the coin. Yeah, that's really uh, it's, it's it's a really great. Um, I you know I'm always telling people that if they're going to invest, uh, uh, that projects that people really have their hearts into and that people really believe in, particularly in the crypto space where a lot of shit coins are just there to be used and abused. And then after the first pump, they're just discarded. Nobody ever thinks about them again. You know, you get like one good run and it's super sketchy because as soon as people start dumping, if you don't get out, then you're, you know, you're toast. And so I think that projects like yours where there's actually a purpose and people really care about it. I've noticed one of the reasons I contact you actually is that I noticed that, um, your community is really strong that people really believe in the token and they're getting involved because they believe in the cause. And I think that, you know, in this uh, really oversaturated market space, that is like one of the fundamental things that you have to watch out for. And as you're saying, it's absolutely phenomenal that uh, there is a way to generate money so rapidly. I mean, the figures that are involved with cryptocurrency are staggering. I, I sit around and watch charts all day, every day. And I see the buys and sells rolling in something like safe moon and it's just absolutely incredible and uh, when you have a project that's giving you know two percent or five percent or whatever it is to a cause that you really care about and then you look at the size of the numbers that are involved you realize that you're really making an impact and that is really going to get people invested and um so yeah it's a really great thing i hope that you guys uh will put some of that, that, that donation money towards federal legalization, because as you were saying, even in states where um, there are medical marijuana laws, the doctors oftentimes, even if they believe in medical marijuana, will be afraid to uh, prescribe it or to even advocate for it because they can have their licenses taken away or they can be put in jail. And this has actually happened to a number of doctors. Of course, they backed off quite a bit over the years, but it's still Obviously, you know, in the case of your friend, it's a big concern. And they're so quick to prescribe. For those of you that don't know, fentanyl is, a, uh, is an opiate or an opioid uh, painkiller that is measured in micrograms like LSD. It is super, super, super powerful and extremely addictive. Um, that one and Suboxone, which is actually given to people to get off, a lot of rehabs will come. Or if you go to the rehabs, they will tell you to go back out on the street and get addicted to heroin for a few weeks so that they can have an easier time getting you off of the pharmaceutical drugs that you have been prescribed. So uh, these things are absolutely terrible. And the Xanax you mentioned as well, they're prescribing so much Xanax, which basically turns people into mindless, soulless zombies. Uh, it's one of the only drugs that exists, uh, alcohol being the other, that the withdrawal uh, can kill you. Um, and they're prescribing so much of it that the oceans are testing positive for benzodiazepines, which is the class of drugs that uh, Xanax is classified under. So uh, it is absolutely marijuana. Anything we can do to alleviate the impact of all of these negative pharmaceutical drugs. And uh, I mean, in my opinion, you're not free if you can't decide what goes in and out of your body. Your sovereignty 
uh, uh, as as a as a human being, you know, in my opinion, as a divine being, uh, your so sovereignty starts with your ability to decide what goes in your body or or, or not. And so, um, I, yeah, I think this is a huge issue. I think it's a super worthy cause. Uh, so I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart. And, you know, also, I think that um, providing an opportunity, as you were saying, for people to empower themselves while empowering um, societal causes or environmental causes. In my case, I'm working on uh, putting together ayahuasca coin, which is sort of the same thing. Uh, we want to benefit the indigenous people here in the Amazon because the Chinese mines, uh, miners are coming through and destroying uh, the Amazon or throwing the indigenous people out of their communities with only three hours notice and bulldozing them to the ground. And the only way to stop them is by generating money. And I think the only way to generate the money quickly enough is through cryptocurrency. So this is a tremendously powerful opportunity. And, uh, you know, Reese, I know I've watched the community build around your coin over the last week or so. You guys have experienced a tremendous amount of growth. Is that correct? Yeah, you know, we uh, I think we just clocked in another 25 holders just yesterday, which brings us to 225. Uh, I believe we're going to hit week two tomorrow. So we're at 225 holders in two weeks. Uh, we had a market capitalization of a million dollars in our first week and came down a little bit since then. I think we're at 600,000. Um, but, you know, super excited about the future. You know, first donation going in on Sunday. Um, like you said, kind of going off, kind of going off what you were saying earlier about kind of why why we're different than what they typically call a shit coin is that with shit coins, they uh, the owners are usually anonymous or basically 99 percent of the time they're anonymous. And the reason this is, is because they're able to do what's called a rug pull, right? Just liquidate the money, get out of the coin and run away without anyone ever being able to track them. Right. So what we've been able to do to kind of give investors um you know, just the encouragement to buy in. What, why should we trust you, right? Well, we've done a few things. We've, we've filed for the LLC and now we're officially a registered company. You know, the IRS, SEC has us down, right? So we're tracked now. Um, we have a trademark pending on our name. Uh, and finally, I've listed my name. know exactly who I am. So it is basically impossible for us to go in, for example, rug pull and to even further, um, you know, make it a kind of a safer guarantee that, you know, this is a, we're not just some scam coin. We've locked 25% of liquidity up to date, making it no matter what we do, even if we were to break the law, it is impossible to do so now that we've locked it that way. So we're eventually going to bump this number up to 75% once we raise um, a little bit extra capital because it does cost a decent amount to have that locked. But um, once we do that, that'll be following, following suit. And you guys have audits scheduled and, and the roadmap and all of that on your, um, on your website. So we don't have a roadmap uh, update. I'm actually going to be working on the website later today, but we do have, you know, our mission, you know, what inspired us kind of everything I've told you here today. Um, what we have been telling investors in the Discord so far is that we have been in contact with a larger exchange. You know, for us, um, what we've realized is we need to continue to, be, to continue our growth. We need to get you know listed on platforms that'll show our price, like Coin Market Cap, Coin Gecko. Right? There are people that are just waiting for um, coins to be listed on there because as soon as they are, they're just going to buy it up because you know that kind of shows that the project is trustworthy automatically. Um, so, you know, we, we've already applied to those places and then we want to get on an exchange that's a little bit easier for people to buy. You know, we want to be able to, we want people to be able to log on to an exchange, type in our name and just be able to buy it instantly with just US Tether, for example. And so that's what we're working on right now. Um, but in terms of our roadmap, I, I think to, by the end of today, we should have a slide out or at least part of the website that'll be able to show you kind of uh, exactly that what are what dates we should have certain things done by and so what do you think about this dip reese is it market manipulation is it uh is it scaring you at all or are you guys are you guys just buying the dip or, or what, what what is your take on all of this and do you mean just cryptocurrencies as a whole or um our coin well i don't know if you guys did you guys experience some uh some some um a dip with the rest of the market or have you maintained your uh, momentum yeah. yeah 
Well, we, we didn't really. Originally, when the market was crashing, we actually had zero sales locked in for the night that I think Bitcoin went down 20%. You know, mm -hmm. like I said, we have, you know, 227 hold or 227 now. At the time, we had 200. So the people that are locked in, they're in it for the long run. So we haven't been experiencing any, you know, rapid volatility of people just getting out when cryptos are going down. Um, I guess quite recently, we've kind of been, while new buyers are coming in, some of our earlier investors have been selling out and taking profits because, you know, uh, to date, we're up over 10,000% since launch. So there are people I know that have put in $225 into our coin at the very beginning that have now sold out for $20,000, right? And I mean, while I understand, you know, obviously, I, I wish that they would stay around because honestly, you know, with them selling, the price goes down a little bit. But basically, at the end of the day, uh, that's completely healthy for us. You know, we want to basically kind of start to get rid of um, people with a larger amount so that there's less volatility in the market. There's less people we have to worry about, you know, um, selling larger amounts, you know, millions of our coin. Um, so we've just basically, I guess it's since, um, I guess it's been kind of the last seven days, we've stuck around the one cent range. We got as high as I think 2.5 cents. And when we hit that number, one of our original whales who invested, you know, I think on the first day, sold out his entire position for, I think it was, he got $25,000 for like a $500 original investment. And it brought us down to one cent and we kind of went back up to 1.5, someone else sold, went back to 1.3, someone else sold. And now we're kind of hitting around the one cent range, just waiting to break out, you know, but we've just kind of been, um, I guess the word is consolidating for the last 10 days. Yeah, I definitely see a lot of positive momentum for you guys. I see a lot of people that, I, 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 you know, I've been in your Telegram. I know a lot of people feel really good about it. And, you know, you're talking about this volatility that's scaring the hell out of everybody right now. I really think these projects that people can believe in that are aligned with a cause that's important to people, I think that's a really good hedge against volatility. So um, I commend you for your work, man. I know you're probably really busy. I don't want to keep you too long. Um, is there anything else that you would like to offer before we wrap it up or... Well, you know, I just want to say that, you know, I appreciate everyone that's been listening today. You know, if you ever have any questions, I mean, are, will you be leaving kind of a link to our website in the description of the video? Yeah, or, of course. You know, yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. You yeah, know, yeah. check out our website. You know, we have our socials listed on the website. You know, you can message me directly. I, I respond to, you know, anybody that's interested in learning more. Um, so, you know, I'm excited for you guys to check us out. And uh, thanks so much for having me on, man. Really appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, man. So do me a favor and hit the like button, share, subscribe, support us on Patreon, where I will drop uh, daily hints, weekly hints, depending on your tier. Uh, we also talk about stocks on the, on the uh, Conscious Crypto channel. I uh, also want to mention uh, that this is going to be the first crypto video on our, this is going to be the first video at all, actually, on the Conscious Crypto and Investing channel. And it's going to be the last cryptocurrency on uh, my main channel. So um, I want to thank you guys so much for watching and uh, we'll see you again soon.